Good morning, boys and girls. It is lovely that you are able to join us. Have you ever wondered how it must feel to be behind bars? Or how it is to be in a very small room? Sometimes I think our homes or our gardens feel very small and we sometimes feel we can't go anywhere. Teacher Rita will be telling you a story about a man who was in a small room behind bars and his hands were chained. Good morning boys and girls. It's lovely to be here and to tell you a story again. It's been a long time since we've seen each other. I'm going to tell you a story about when Peter was arrested and put in jail. King Herod was the king of the Jews. He persecuted Christians and tried to hurt them. He ordered that the Apostle James be put, uh, put, to, put to death. All of the Christians were very, very sad at this. But the Jews that did not believe in Jesus thought that Herod had done the right thing. King Herod wanted to be popular with the people, so he had the Apostle Paul arrested and put in jail. He was chained by the wrists and the ankles to two guards on each side of him. When Peter had been arrested in Jerusalem, all the Christians gathered together at the house of a lady named Mary, to pray for him and to ask God to help to get Peter released. The night before Peter's trial, he was sleeping in the prison, chained between two guards, when suddenly there was an angel that woke him. Peter must have thought that he was having a dream because he didn't quite know what was going on. The angel told Peter to quickly get up put on his shoes, and as he got up, the chains fell from him, and he followed the angel out of the prison through all the guards that were guarding him that were fast asleep. When they got to the big locked gates, the gates suddenly opened and they walked out. Peter was so surprised when he walked down the street, and suddenly the angel was gone, and Peter realized that he wasn't having a dream, that he really was out of prison. And he quickly went to the house of Mary, because that is where most of the Christians gathered. Peter knocked at the door and waited, and a lady opened. Her name was Rhoda. And she looked and she was so surprised, she didn't even greet Peter. She just ran back and left him standing there. And she called all the other people. And they didn't know what, they didn't believe her. They thought she was playing a trick on them. And then eventually they went to the door and there was Peter. And they were so happy to see Peter because they had just been praying and God had answered their prayer before they even finished praying. When Herod found out that Peter was out of jail, he was very, very angry, and he had all the guards executed that was looking after Peter. After that, King Herod traveled to another city, and he had to go and do some business. The people of that city was very, very frightened of Herod because Herod wasn't a very nice person. They were scared that he would stop them from buying food. So they treated Herod as a god. And Herod was very, very happy with this. Instead of telling the people that he's not God, he really enjoyed that. But God was very, was not happy with him. And God sent a disease on Herod, terrible disease, the worms ate him. And after that, Herod died. Now, Herod thought he could kill the Christians and stop God. He thought he was good, uh, he thought he was as good as God. 
but he was not. The, the church only continued to grow and grow more after this. But the word of God continued to spread and flourish. So Herod couldn't put the Christians, uh, they couldn't quieten the Christians. They just grew and grew because God was with them. in the story. They need to close their eyes and not peek. Then one of you can be Peter and another person can be the angel. Peter and the angel then need to escape the room without being hurt. You can all take turns being a guard, Peter and the angel. This is our craft that we will make today. It is the shackles that Peter wore in prison. We will need 10 strips of paper, some scissors, some glue, an eraser, some colouring in pencils, a pencil, a blank piece of paper and a ruler. First we will write this verse on the 10 strips of paper. We will write two words in the middle of each strip like this. Then we will take the strips and colour them in grey. They will be the chains for our shackles. The chains that Peter would have worn would have been metal and grey like this. Then we will take our blank piece of paper and draw two fists. Now we will draw two cuffs on their wrists. You can draw them by making a rectangle, then putting two lines in the rectangle, and then putting two lines across those lines, as you can see here. Now we will colour in our cuffs and fists.
It is now time to cut everything out. Ask your parents to help you with the scissors. It is now time to make our chain. Take your strips in the order of the words that you wrote on them. Glue the ends in a circle like this. Then glue your next strip in the circle so that you will get this. Do that with all the strips. Now we have our chain. It is time to glue the cuffs on. Put glue behind the cuffs and stick one on each end of your chain. Now you will have the shackles like Peter had on in prison. Right, what was so incredible about this story was Peter had the whole church praying for him. He had everybody praying for him. And what happened? God sent an angel to set him free. There is so much power in prayer. And even today, we can all pray. If we all pray together, things will happen. God will listen to our prayers. He hears our prayers and he's there to help us. So if you're feeling anxious about anything, if you're feeling worried about anything, you know you can ask anybody to pray for you. You can ask your, your family, your friends, your children's church teachers. We'll all pray for you. And when we all get together, we all pray. God hears us. And that's when he answers our prayers. So if you're feeling a bit anxious about having to stay at home or having to go back to school one day, one of these days we're all going to be back at school. But you might be feeling a bit anxious about that or a bit scared. Or you might not be sleeping well at night. If that's the case, ask someone to pray for you. And when they pray for you, you'll see how God works. He listens to our prayers and, and he works for us. So let's pray. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for always being with us. When we feel stuck in a situation or worried about something happening or afraid of things we come across, thank you for always being there for us and always being there to help us out and helping us to, to feel less anxious. We pray that you will be with all the boys and girls, that you will help each one of them to overcome what they are going through, and that you will set them free as you did with Peter. We ask this in your precious name. Amen. Remember to share this video with your friends and family. Your feedback is important to us, so please let us know if you loved this video by clicking like, subscribing, and leaving a comment below. Visit our website at Benoni Presbyterian dot org dot za and follow us on Facebook at Ranfield Benoni Church.